Good morning, and welcome to the Cathedral Church of All Saints Halifax and to our service of morning prayer with the Great Litany for Wednesday, March 31st. The form of worship is found starting on page 47 of the Book of Alternative Services. Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Canticle of Invitation for today is Psalm 63, verses 1 through 8, which starts on page 783 of the Book of Alternative Services. Psalm 63. O God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you, my soul thirsts for you, my flesh faints for you, as in a barren and dry land where there is no water. Therefore I have gazed upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. For your loving kindness is better than life itself. My lips shall give you praise. So will I bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul is content as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth praises you with joyful lips when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches. For you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 120, found on page 881 of the Book of Alternative Services. Psalm 120. When I was in trouble, I called to the Lord. I called to the Lord and he answered me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips and from the deceitful tongue. What shall be done to you and what more besides, O you deceitful tongue? the sharpened arrows of a warrior along with hot glowing coals. How hateful it is that I must lodge in Meshech and dwell among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I had to live among the enemies of peace. I am on the side of peace, but when I speak of it, they are for war. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. First reading this morning is from the letter of, to the Philippians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Paul writes, Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. I urge Euodia and I urge Syntyche to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you also, my loyal companion, help those women, for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last you have revived your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned for me, but had no opportunity to show it. Not that I am referring to being in need, for I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know what it is to have little, and I know what it is to have plenty. 
In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of having plenty and of being in need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 12, beginning at verse 27. Jesus said, Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In place of the confession of the faith, we shall use the summary of the law, Hear, O Israel, found on page 53. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Our collects and prayers of intercession this morning will take the form of the great litany, which begins on page 138 of the Book of Alternative Services. God the Father, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy on us. God the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, have mercy on us. Holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, three persons and one God, have mercy on us. Lord, remember not our offenses, nor the offenses of our forebearers. Spare us, good Lord. Spare your people, whom you have redeemed with your precious blood. Spare us, good Lord. From all evil and mischief, from sin, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from your wrath and from everlasting condemnation, good Lord, deliver us. From all spiritual blindness, from ply, pride, vainglory, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and from all want of charity, good Lord, deliver us. From all deadly sin and from the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil, good Lord, deliver us. From all false doctrine, heresy, and schism, from hardness of heart and contempt of your word and commandment, Good Lord, deliver us. From earthquake and tempest, from drought, fire, and flood, from civil strife and violence, from war and murder, and from dying suddenly and unprepared, good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, and by your tempta pro proclamation of the kingdom, good Lord, deliver us by your agony and bitter grief, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit. Good Lord, deliver us. In our times of trouble, 
in our times of prosperity, in the hour of death, and on the day of judgment. Good Lord, deliver us. Receive now our prayers, Lord God. May it please you to rule and govern your holy church universal and lead it in your way. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen your service, servant Elizabeth, our queen, in true worship and holiness of life. Be her defender and keeper that she may always seek your honor and glory and endue the leaders of this nation with wisdom and understanding. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and defend all who strive for our safety and protection and shield them in all dangers and adversities. Hear us, good Lord. Grant wisdom and insight to those who govern us and to judges and magistrates the grace to execute justice with mercy. Hear us, good Lord. Enlighten all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of your word that in their preaching and living they may declare it clearly and show its truth. Hear us, good Lord. Bless all your servants preparing for ministry in your church. Pour your grace upon them that they may serve others as Christ himself has served us for the building up of his body in love. Hear us, good Lord. Encourage and prosper your servants who spread the gospel in all the world and send out laborers into the harvest. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and keep your people that all may find and follow their true vocation and ministry. Hear us, good Lord. Give us a heart to love and reverence you that we may diligently live according to your commandments. Hear us, good Lord. To all your people, give growth in grace to listen to your word, to receive it gladly, and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen those who stand firm in the faith, encourage the faint-hearted, raise up those who fall, and finally beat down Satan under our feet. Hear us, good Lord. To all nations, grant unity, peace and concord, and to all people give dignity, food, and shelter. Hear us, good Lord. Grant us abundant harvests, strength and skill to conserve the resources of the earth, and wisdom to use them well. Hear us, good Lord. Enlighten with your spirit all who teach and all who learn. Hear us, good Lord. Come to the help of all who are in danger, necessity, and trouble. Protect all who travel by land, air, or water, and show your pity on all prisoners and captives. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen and preserve all women who are in childbirth and all young children, and comfort the aged and lonely. Hear us, good Lord. Defend and provide for the widowed and the orphans, the refugees and the homeless, the unemployed, and all who are desolate and oppressed. Hear us, good Lord. Heal those who are sick in body or mind and give skill and compassion to all who care for them. Hear us, good Lord. Grant us true repentance, forgive our sins, and strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. Hear us, good Lord. Son of God, we ask you to hear us. Son of God, we ask you to hear us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We close with the Lord's Prayer, the prayer of St. John Chrysostom and the grace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you and have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. 
Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you, Father, are good and loving, and we glorify you through your Holy Spirit, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.